this stage and those marks will be on the screen. Okay. I hit my mark. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Abigail Salisbury. Uh, again, I am running in the 34th district. So if you're not familiar with the redistricting, that's sort of a collection of about a dozen communities surrounding Swissvale, where I'm currently on council. You have Forest Hills uh, up into Wilkins, over into Wilkinsburg. So it's that sort of, uh, I tell people the district used to look like Florida, kind of looks like Ohio now. They made it more compact. So, um, and it does include part of the 14th Ward, which is why I'm here. So uh, I know some of you already from the Jewish community, from the legal community, but for those of you who don't know me, I'll tell you a little bit about who I am. Uh, I started a law practice. I'm a solo uh, attorney over in Swissvale and used to practice in uh, Wilkinsburg before that. And I started that practice eight years ago in order to serve nonprofits and small businesses that could not afford or find legal services customized to their needs. I charge a reduced rate in order to make those legal services affordable and accessible to the nonprofit and small business community. I, like our previous speaker, a big believer in entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship can take a variety of different forms, whether it's for profit or nonprofit. Five years ago, I was elected to Swissvale Borough Council. Frankly, to be honest with you, I ran because I was looking for something to do because Donald Trump was elected president. I wasn't maybe going to run for Senate or anything at that point in my life, but I was a big fan of the Think Globally, Act Locally kind of concept, so I ran for Borough Council. I've spent the past two years as president of Swissvale Borough Council, and I'm very proud of the things that I was able to achieve uh, since I've been on council. I came into a very contentious time on council. It was very normal to hear screaming, hollering, carrying on, and I'm very happy to say that nowadays uh, we, we've had a big culture change and we're really a very productive group. I like to say that I can work with, you know, any kind of people um, and try to focus on getting things done. I do that with my nonprofit board clients when I try to get people refocused on the goal of why you actually join that board. You know, you join the board of the cat shelter to try to save cats, not to fight with Harold across the table from you at the board meetings, as tempting as it may seem. So uh, what am I running for? I'm running for the same principles that I uh, created when I became president of Swissvale Borough Council, which is service safety success. What does service mean? You got elected to be a public servant, act like one, serve the public, make sure that you provide the public with the services that they need, whether that means they flush their toilet and it doesn't come back up into their basement. Yeah, that's gross, but it's a problem we have in Swissvale and other areas around here or that they get their trash collected and that they are treated with respect. Safety, I was able to reform the way that we hire police in our borough. Uh, that, is, that is a process that's prescribed by the state, but I was able to make it something where everyone in council participates and our diversity, equity and inclusion committee came up with a battery of behavioral questions that we ask as a group, uh, as a group of council members in order to make sure that people are focused on de-escalation, on diversity, on respecting people in our community. We ask questions like, what would you have done if you had been at the site of the George Floyd killing and watched someone behaving in that way? What would you have done? And you would be surprised. People will tell on themselves. And I think it's, that's a big example for people who come on council, or sorry, who apply to our council for employment and success. We all want to see success in our community. And so we do a lot of programs that try to advertise we love Swissvale, but we want everybody else around us to love that. I feel the same way about the 34th district, that we love it, but maybe not everybody knows how successful we are. So we want to broadcast that to the broader community. So I'll pause there and ask if anybody has any questions. Not everybody all at once. Yes. Sure, so uh, the part of the district that uh, covers the 14th Ward, it is essentially if you go over the bridge that fell down in your mind and you hang a right. <laughs> um, if so it's basically to the side of Dallas and up. So it's that portion of Point Breeze and it'll be that little portion of Homewood there as well. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. I have a lot of respect for Miss Lee. Um, I voted for her twice. Uh, I think that the difference between her and me is that maybe because I come from that municipal level, it is very much that bottom up nuts and bolts kind of thing as opposed to a big issues kind of a thing. Those big issues are very important. But what is also very important to me is the fact that our sewers are collapsing, that they haven't been updated in 70 years and we have people who have sewage in their basement. It's very important to me that our borough building fell down two years ago because we did 
debt and never had the money to maintain it or do anything with it. Our council chambers collapsed through the roof of the Department of Public Works, and it was a miracle nobody was killed. You see, all these things happen that our building collapsed. It was a miracle nobody was killed. Bridge collapsed. It was a miracle nobody was killed. Commercial Avenue subsided onto itself. It was a miracle nobody was killed. We're not going to be able to keep saying that over and over and over. There's going to come a time when there's not a miracle and somebody's going to be killed. And we have to fix that infrastructure. We have to get those things done. We have to focus on those bottom up nuts and bolts issues. And that's what I'm here to do. I think that there's a way to save money on those public safety services. There's about, as I mentioned, there's a dozen different boroughs that are included in this district. And we, for the most part, have our own police departments. There are some areas that don't. We currently police two days a week, Swissvale does for Braddock Hills. And uh, I think that those intermunicipal cooperation agreements are going to become more and more essential and more and more common as we move forward, because you do then have an opportunity to take advantage of an economy of scale. We each have our own uh, police facilities, our own police cars, our own police chief who makes maybe 100 grand in each of these little boroughs. You need to consolidate some of that and work together together in order to take advantage of combining, get rid of some of the redundancies and then provide superior services with a combined uh, police force. Anyone else? Yes. I'm Abigail Salisbury. Salisbury like the steak that they fed you in high school cafeteria. Um, so I've, I've been hearing that my whole life. Might as well lean into it. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Mm -hmm. 